welcome back students now uh, we are going to start with the lesson number 3 blockchain working and the different types of the blockchain here so before that let us uh, summarize what we discuss in the lesson number 2 now in le in lesson number 2 we discuss what is the blockchain then blockchain definition technical definition layman definition okay what are the different terms uh, we try to understand then what is the generic structure of that particular block okay then uh, how blocks uh, are updating uh, updating their transaction that part also we discuss then how different uh, blocks are connected together how link is established between the genesis block and other blocks in a blockchain network okay then we discuss about the different components of the block also that is the uh, timestamp nonce then Merkle tree okay then smart contracts then scripting language programming language address node peer to peer network so that part we discuss already in a lesson number 2 now today we are going to start with the lesson number 3 uh, which is uh, all about the working of the blockchain and the, what are the different types of blockchain here we are going to take the very short overview of the working of the blockchain but, uh, okay because in subsequent lessons we are going to the detail the working of that particular blocks okay so let us start with the lesson number three so now how blockchain works now uh, as we discussed earlier the blockchain network consists of the different nodes and that nodes uh, are also referred as a miners okay and these nodes and miners can start the transaction start the transaction and also these nodes are responsible for valid <coughs> validating the transaction because what we discussed earlier whenever any of the node in that particular blockchain network can initiate the transaction but the transaction will be confirmed and updated in a block added into the recorded into the block when uh, all the nodes in that particular network in that particular blockchain network are agreed on that particular transaction okay using the consensus algorithm okay that part already we are discussed and once all the nodes in that particular network are agreed then uh, it is decided to uh, decide it which node is going to uh, add that particular uh, block or the record that particular transaction or the uh, add to the block in that particular network now here now let us see that there is a, a node starts the transaction by first creating and then digitally signing it with its private key so as we discussed as i told you any node in that particular network can start the transaction okay we are calling it as a creation of the transaction and the when, when the transaction is uh, created okay then that is digitally signed with its private key because as we discuss in the information security also private key is used to uh, private key is used to sign the digital document or the information so here we are going that particular node is using its own private key for uh, signing that particular transaction okay now the next part the step is what the, when the transaction is signed or when the transaction is signed with this private key this transaction is propagated or the flooded in a network using the flooding protocol called the gossy protocol okay to peer, to peers that validate the transaction based upon the present criteria so what uh, we discuss here whenever the transaction is created it is propagated in an entire blockchain network okay and how it is propagated how it is flooded using the algorithm that is a gossip protocol okay and each and every node in that particular network is going to validate the transaction which is received by other nodes in a particular network based upon the preset criteria then once the transaction is validated it is included in a block which is then propagated onto the network and once the transaction is validated then it is included in a block and then it is propagated onto the network so once it is done once it is done the newly created block now becomes the part of the ledger 
and once the transaction is validated by all the nodes in a network then it is added into the block okay and that block is now now connected in that particular uh, blockchain network okay and the next block link it's cryptographically back to this particular block it means what the uh, link is created link is created between the newly created block and the previous block or the last block in that particular network then transactions are reconfirmed every time new block is created so transactions are then reconfirmed every time new block is created okay so what i said earlier also transactions are created all the transactions are, are uh, recorded in that particular blockchain network but all the transactions are not confirmed okay it is based upon the result of the consensus algorithm so that is very very important okay now what are the benefits of the blockchain so why we are moving for the blockchain technology because as we discussed earlier in the very first uh, video of this particular course so blockchain is going to change the entire paradigm of the current ongoing businesses okay uh, businesses because uh, it has a lots of benefits for example decentralization so decentralization means there is a no central authority there is a no central controller in all whenever the transaction is happen between the different nodes in a blockchain network okay so let me tell you one example of this so whenever we are transferring the money from one account to another account for example if you want to transfer the account from your account to your friend's account who is involved in uh, in uh, who is involved in this particular uh, transaction so banks okay banks are involved banks are there as a intermediary between be uh, you and your friend and that bank is now acting as a controller and responsible for completing this particular transaction but in case of blockchain network there is no need of intermediary like a bank okay you can directly send that particular amount money to your friend's account and your friend can also send and receive the same uh, the perform the transaction directly with you also without any central controller or without any bank so that is what the decentralization transparency and trust means what now here each and every node in that particular blockchain network has a copy of that particular distributed ledger and what i said distributed ledger it is the distributed ledger where all the information is recorded so each and every node has a same copy of that particular distributed ledger so that's why it is called as a transparent and the because of transparency the trust is developed among the different nodes in that particular network next one is immut immut immutability it means what once the transaction is initiated it is confirmed and recorded in that particular blockchain network then no one is going to tamper that particular uh, information tamper that particular transaction it is highly impossible and this is one of the best future of the blockchain network immutability means no one is going to modify or tamper that particular transaction information okay so that is what immutability next one is high availability so it means what whenever there is a problem with any of the nodes in a blockchain network still your blockchain network will continue to work okay because of the fault tolerance capability of the blockchain network means if one of the no, uh, node goes down then other net, uh, other nodes in that particular network will continue their work okay so that is that's why we are calling it as a high availability feature of the blockchain then highly secure because as i said cryptographically secure algorithms are used here uh, which ensure your non repudiation data integrity okay and data origin authentication all these uh, security services are provided by the cryptographically uh, uh, cryptographic technique like symmetric and asymmetric uh, technique and because of that we can say it is a highly secure network blockchain network then simplification of current paradigms as i said uh, as i told you the example of the banking uh, sector 
or the financial firm where the there is a transaction is happening between the different uh, two parties and there is one intermediary like a bank so if we go with the blockchain network then there is no need of such intermediaries like bank in the future and because of this what will happen as uh, as mentioned earlier in the sli uh, uh, slides also faster dealing than cost saving if there is no intermediaries involved in between the transaction then the transactions are faster and it also save the cost of that cost involved in that particular uh, transaction also so these are the very important and the benefits of the blockchain and because of this blockchain is very 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 popular nowadays okay now uh, we know even we are saying blockchain is the very best technology or the latest technology in the world but each and every technology has some its limitation okay so let us see that so pro what are the problems of the blockchain so now the problems of the blockchain are what the first one is what your scalability problem okay issue of the scalability adaptability regulations means scalability means uh, if we cannot scale because of uh, lots of infrastructure okay and hardware and software cost is involved in this particular it so it is not scalable adaptability so adaptability it means it, it must uh, uh, it is not suitable for all types of all types of uh, industries or the application okay then regulations regulations means yeah you know we know that so we have uh, it act and different national or international uh, laws are also there regulations are also there so it is very difficult uh, to follow the norms and the regulation set by the local government or the central government or the national bodies or international bodies so it is very difficult to adopt the regulations then relatively immature technology we know that it is started uh, popularity since last five to six year even it is actually invented in 2008-9 but uh, as compared to other technologies it is relatively immature technology that is also one of the problem with the blockchain network and the privacy okay because here the copy of that particular uh, um, distributed ledger is available with each and every node in the particular network so some kind of a privacy issue is also there that needs to be tackled so lots of research uh, by the industry person by the academician is going uh, with, uh, going on uh, with respect to the scalability, adaptability, regulations, re uh, and the uh, privacy related issues. And definitely in the future, we are go uh, going to overcome not 100%, but at least uh, some challenges or the problems of uh, that particular blockchain. So, thank you very much. Uh, so, we will meet uh, again uh, with the new uh, concept in the next session.